Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. If you are new, warm welcome. And if you are liking it, just give it a big thumbs up. Comment, share, and subscribe if your heart desires. And I do appreciate it if you do. And I am jumping on this bandwagon to uh, try um, a tutorial because I very rarely make a tutorial. Um, I have one of these things um, that someone gave me in a big makeup haul. And um, these are the little tartlet tart palettes. And this one is in Flirt. Really, absolutely love this little palette. I noticed it this morning. And I'm like, I was kind of, you know, like, kind of stuck. Not knowing what the heck to do with myself. So I saw it and I'm like, oh. Let's just pull that out and work with it. So, yes, that's what I did. Um, you'll see some really beautiful colors in here. You're going to see um, Gaze, Touch, and Hotline at the top there because those uh, names are kind of really, really uh, tiny. And um, against a gold palette, it's kind of like really, really hard to see. And uh, Playful, Passion, and Snuggle. Playful, Passion, and Snuggle in the bottom. And um, I am going to attempt to recreate what I did this morning. So, what I usually do is I use a little bit of a primer base. And this is the Wet n Wild uh, Glass Correct Primer Base in green. And only because I have a little bit of a vein popping through here. It kind of casts like that blue looking thing. You know, it's just really looks bad and pops through some of my makeup sometimes don't see it popping out so we're good um and a little bit of concealer since i don't have quote any primer like a priming base to put on it so, so to speak so um i use a little bit of my concealer is the essentially ageless and the older you get the more you need something with hyaluronic acid in it this is the essential ageless and it has the hyaluronic um hydrating serum concealer how to get that out hydrating serum concealer and um it does not have qualine in it and that is okay and um as long as it's got that hyaluronic and it's not super thick which is good because i don't like thick stuff because once you start putting thick stuff around, you know, um, anything, especially around your eyes, it just gets quite worse. And as you age and you get those little lines underneath, it becomes a complete problem. So I just, you know, went ahead and went underneath the shadows because uh, some of it came off when I went to take off some of the eye makeup. So I went ahead and re it underneath there and put a little bit on the eyelids to kind of um get that area prepped for eye makeup use a little my coty air spun just to set over top of it this powder is like so good for like everything i do not set my entire face anymore it's like not really necessary as you get older excessive amounts of powder are not good for your face unless you're excessively oily <laughs> If you have dry skin, it's not advised to go too terribly crazy with the powder. I only powder in places where the makeup could essentially move, like under here, up in here, and through here. It is not necessary to go towards the outer, more drier areas of your face. It is just not necessary. Don't do it. If you have drier skin, don't do it. It's just not necessary. But, um... Let's just uh, go ahead and get into this little palette. I, let's see here, let's grab some brushes. Um, let's see here. I have this one. And this one. This one. And um, Hooey. Um, probably this one would be beneficial. Um, 
And I have a couple Q-tips in here because sometimes Q-tips are good for like going more towards like the center or the um, the one central area of the lid where you can't get a brush without making a complete mess of it. Some people say it's better to just use your fingers. If you like using your fingers, I don't mind using my fingers. Nowadays, make sure your fingers are clean. Hands and fingers must be clean, especially with COVID out there. I mean, it's still out there. But let's just make sure this is all nice and even. Got a nice even base. We are going to take um, this one in the top here in gaze. I'm going to use this brush first. This one is from Lancome. I love long comb brushes. These are um, exceptionally powdery, so you want to make sure to um, uh, let's say kind of make sure that they are dusted off so that they don't phase. Um, not face, um, kickback. That's that's. I don't want a whole lot of kickback since they're you know somewhat powdery. They're very very buttery shadows, but uh, they are uh, slightly powdery, so they will produce a little bit of kickback. I kind of put the edge of a card like right there to kind of keep from. No, um, I have seen a few other videos. I wanted to see how other people use this palette before I try. I'm gonna dip right back into that. Again, coming over here. It's always difficult for me, you know, to come over here, but we are doing it. We are doing it right over here. Oh my goodness, yes, we're doing it. We are doing it. Wow. Um, just be mindful and careful, of course, to um, go towards the very, very upper part of the brow bone if you have it, um, if it's very, very um, pronounced. Um, some people have hooded eyes and it's a little harder for them to um, do that with that you kind of have to create a crease and it's a little bit harder um i have never had to do that and because i've never done makeup on anybody but myself and sometimes occasionally my daughter but um she's starting to you know figure it out for herself she she's actually starting to do makeup by herself and it's it's kind of cool she's a teenager and you know she's cotton gotten kind of interested in makeup it's kind of cool um this is the only thing i'm doing different by uh taking gaze and using it for the um transition it's just gonna give me a nice soft transition it's the only difference it's a nice color i really like it and I'm going to come down here to the corner into Snuggle, a very, very deep brown. Again, tap it off. We are going to, and I never do anything with the outer V. It's just, for me, it's just not necessary and it's something I still struggle with. I'll admit, it's something I struggle with. I'm just gonna come straight in here, right about there. And just come up over the edge. I love that Rossi shade too. That um, one called Heart Hotline, I think it is. Yes, and Hotline. Oh my gosh, a really, really beautiful shade. Probably something that I would try, like maybe for summer. And I'm coming down a little too far. 
So what I am going to do, I'm going to take that card right there and kind of like push it upwards just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just so it's not, you know, pushed downwards, making it look like, um, it doesn't look too bad. Like making you, giving you that kind of like sad expression to your eyes. You know, your eyes are very expressive. You should uh, make sure that your eyes are expressing the way you feel. If you're uh, pushing everything downwards, you're, people are going to think, you know, you're very, very sad or something. You know, it's like, I'm not sad. I mean, honestly, you know, I'm, I'm fine. I'm good. You know, but, you know, your makeup, you know, if you do it the wrong way, you're going to be expressing it incorrectly. And, you know, that's just, you want to make sure that it's, and making it, pushing it upwards just a little bit. You don't want people to think you're in a bad mood or you're gonna cry or something. I mean, it's not good. <laughs> it's not good at all. Okay, I'm gonna go back into snuggle again. Tap it off. And try, try to find a, an edge that is not, you know, that doesn't have those little bumps on it. And go back in here. Kind of. These colors really do create a nice color payoff. Oh my gosh, they're very, very pigmented. And apparently, these are sold, I think someone said, at Morphe or someplace like that. Or, um, I would have to, like, check again because I was watching a video. I was watching someone else's video. I will watch someone else's video, you know, to make sure that I know what I'm talking about sometimes. Because otherwise, you know, it might, you know, come across incorrectly. Yes, I'm going to push it upwards just a little bit here. You know, just to keep it from falling downwards. <laughs> We're not going to fall downwards because that's uh, going to um, create the illusion of a sad looking eye. I mean, unless you're looking like for a melancholy feel. I mean, there's always that. There's always that. No, but, you know, there are days, you know, when you might want to, you know, um, express melancholy with your makeup. A melancholy mood with your makeup, you know, might be, you know, like someone in your family died or something. And, um, you want to wear your makeup and, you know, you want to express, you know, what you're feeling. So, I think this is finally looking... Why I don't want it is really all I'm wearing are like lounge clothes, like a big oversized night oversized night shirt and like um kind of like dancers spandex pants. Kind of they have those little um lace cuffs at the bottom. They're really really comfortable. Now there is not an actual highlighting shade in here, so I did have to use. A highlighter that I used on my cheekbones on the um on the top on the um the brow but um the next thing we're doing is we are going to be going into this pinky shade in the bottom here called passion and I think we might not need these brushes um, using a um q-tip you could probably be really really good uh color payoff if you got these wet i'm sure never tried them wet but um i'm gonna get a q-tip and go dry but i'm going to tap some off on the back of my hand before I go directly on to the, um, the lid. I'm going to pull my mirror back and just create 
all a real word. I'm pushing it clear to the end. And if you wanted to, you could probably take one of those brushes and, you know, just uh, keep, you know, sweeping color through there. Um, I prefer to use... Oh my gosh, my daughter and I fought over this palette like crazy before I finally decided, you know, enough's enough. This is my palette. Because <laughs> she really, really liked these colors. And just really, really sweep these colors through. You know, I did not get much payoff on that side. So what I'm going to do is... Yes, one of the brushes that I confiscated from her table. I'm not sure what this is. This I'm not sure. This might be one of those um technique brushes. It's uh, slightly rounded, but slightly um graduated, slanted a little bit. And so we're going to be able to come up right in underneath the crease and then push down straight across. Now this would probably make a pretty highlighter, but um, I'm going to try to get a little more on that side it's just what it is I don't know if it's the lighting in here I think it's the lighting in here I don't have good lighting for this <laughs> it, I, don't, I don't know why it's not picking up but I'm gonna pop the light back maybe and of course I almost have this you know like right in my face kind of you know like oh there we go maybe that works a little bit There we go. There we go. There we go. All right. I think that's enough for this. <laughs> what I'm going to do is take a piece of tissue. I don't keep technical tissues in here, you know. I'll take a roll of uh, toilet paper from the, um, my work portal, pop it up. I think it annoys me so much. Our new work portal. Um, I think what I'm going to do is this. Just to get this, um, I'm going to take this brush and go ahead and take this one that I was using earlier to um, get a highlight going into this EB Beauty. It's called Radiant Glow. It's kind of like a kind of like a pinky champagne kind of really really beautiful. I can't stand it. Drive me crazy. Is either not enough lighting or too much and it's just driving me crazy if we ever move I'm gonna demand that I have my own little room with adequate lighting and adequate computer camera whatever you know to be able to do these properly I will demand it absolutely I want to be able to do these the right way <laughs> but we shall see I am pretty good at getting my way, um, but um, not all the time, but most of the time. It just depends. Totally depends. I am not going to use uh, the um, liquid eyeliner, the, the felt tip pen. I'm gonna be using the gel pen. 
gonna go ahead and curl my lashes. There it is, it's right in front of me. Um, be careful when you do this, of course. I love that pinky copper that's on the lid. It's like one of my favorite colors in the palette. I have only used that brighter copper like maybe like a couple of other times. Ooh, out. Ooh. Definitely be careful. This is the eye that I accidentally splattered hot oil in the other night. Not fun. A story for another time. I'm gonna let that sit for a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and um, line the bottom. I use this little handheld thing for a little for a lot of stuff. I think that is the last time I will ever try, you know, front and ravioli. <laughs> Not the best idea. I think frying ravioli in a pan is not the best idea. It's probably better to use a uh, fryer. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. And Kind of stuff popping up on uh, my um portal. I wonder what is going on. It's probably something about my schedule, I'm sure. And sometimes I am backwards with the way um, either I come inwards and go out or, you know, sometimes I go outwards and go in. I think it depends, you know, I go outwards and in on this side and on this side I go from in and go out. So I think it's just, you know, because of each side. Normally, I do not come the whole way in and down into the corner. We're going to put some mascara on this and consider it done. Alrighty. Um, I think the first thing I'm going to do before I do that is to make sure to have this all blended out. So that it doesn't look wonky. I am thinking this looks pretty good. I mean, let me know. I mean, this isn't the first time I've used this palette, but um, my hair looks kind of like a somewhat textured mess, kind of. I like texture in my hair. Um, so, let's see here. This is the Maybelline Falsies. Absolutely love the Maybelline Falsies. I've had this for, I'm not sure how long, but I love it. This stuff does wonders for my tiny little lashes. 
Ooh, my goodness. I love doing makeup. I wish I would have, you know, listened to my grandmother and went into the fashion industry. It would have been so freaking fun. Oh my goodness. I do it practically every day. Whether or not we're going anywhere. Just because, you know, I love creating looks. Oh my goodness. It's just, I have this passion for art and, you know, classic stuff. It's just, I don't know what it is. Me and makeup are like ball and chain, hand and glove, peas in a pod, you know. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> I just, I don't know what it is. Or like on Forrest Gump, you know, him and Jenny were peas and carrots. When my husband and I were dating, my parents would call us the dynamic duo. And then I'm trying to think uh, that year, um, 1994 uh, the movie The Bodyguard came out Frank Carpenter and Rachel Marin I think it was those were the characters and it's like Frank and Rachel cool <laughs> yeah so yeah we're the dynamic duo I'm like that is like so freaking cool <laughs> and the rest of this was like really, really super easy. All I did was, you know, foundation, you know, the works. Um, I used a little bit of the Revlon uh, blush. This is in number 33 and very, very. Kept it right up in here. Always keep your blush like right up in here, especially if you have like really high cheekbones, if you have um, somewhat of a rounder face. And um, if you want to keep, you know, that color there, you know, don't put it on the apple of your cheek if you have that rounder face because it's just going to fall whenever your face relaxes. I mean, nobody can smile all the time. Your face is going to relax and when you do, your blush is going to fall. I do contour. Contour, you know, um, I do have to do a new video for. So I'm going to um, eventually do that. And if you're wondering, that was the wet and wild breakup proof, cry proof, everything proof, it seems, uh, number 492 in black. The um, liquid eyeliner is in ultra black. It's number 508 in ultra black. That's the one I didn't use um, for the video. The lipstick, it kind of looks like a stain at this point. Um, I do need to put a, a little bit of something on here. A little bit of my EOS. I think it's the mango. My lips are dry. Seems like all the time. All the time. They get chapped. They flake. I don't know what it is. Maybe I need to try a scrub. Like a lip scrub. I'll ask my daughter where she got hers. Maybe I'll eventually get one. I used a Revlon lipstick, one that I absolutely love. It's extremely dark, but oh my gosh, it's beautiful. And it looked really, really good with this. Um, this is number 477 in Black Cherry.
kind of gives you some of those goth girl vibes, kind of, you know, that um, Abby Shuto vibes from NCIS, kind of. So, um, ah. right there. some craziness going on there um good way to clean up your lip line take a um q-tip down around the edge And if you need to, I do this once in a while. A little bit of a foundation just to, because I noticed my um, Cupid's bow is kind of messy. There we go. Hey, we're done. How about it? I finally did it. I did a tutorial. <laughs> At least somewhat of a tutorial. And if you like these, let me know when you find another one. I need to eventually find another one. Maybe like in the toasted or the um the other ones. But um Thanks so much and I'll see you soon. Have a wonderful weekend.